Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense with Badger and Zach. Zach's a new guy. Say hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. All right. Testing our new build today. Just threw us together. Uh, two different tests. Well, going to test this out first with HPA. And then I got a really nice CO2. Kicking ass, two by 12 gram stock for this. But uh, I've not shot, I just put this gun together. It's a nice sniper. Nice scope on there. We got a 12 inch handguard, 16 inch barrel. Look at that, no wobble whatsoever. None, doesn't move on a 16 inch barrel. With a T10 kit, normally you'd have a wobble. And you got to do something about that. So what I did with this, one of the big problems with uh, air guns and that are applicable to AR-15 parts. We use AR uh, handguards, AR pretty much everything, grips. But in a real AR, the barrel's much, much smaller. So when you have M-locks, biggest problem you run into is the back of the M-lock uh, nut takes up too much room and catches on shit. The barrel, it clears. The barrel, you're okay with. But when you want to do uh, uh, mock suppressors, recessed, which is a good look, uh, you can't if you have, you know, M-locks anywhere on the outside. It's a real pain in the ass, but what I ended up doing, I wanted to do the recessed, and I also, I knew with a 16-inch barrel, I was going to have wobble. It's 16 inches long, 12-inch handguard. It's going to be a wobble problem. So... What I did was, is the M-lock nut on the inside, took the old Dremel, round wheel, wound it down to just enough, within a thousandth of an inch, maybe exaggerating a bit, but just enough so my suppressor lands right on top of the nut. See, the nut's right in there, going right in here. So the suppressor screws on and seats right on top of that nut, right into the little groove I made, and... Look at that. No wobble at all. 16 inch barrel with no wobble. You don't see that often in these. But she's a sweet one. All right. I got my uh, the SSD uh, rear ASA block for the the, <clears throat> the power bolt mod, all VKS internals. All right. I have not shot this yet. So we're going to shoot it with HPA. Then we'll switch off. Well, considering it works, hopefully it works. There's no problems. Then we're going to switch off to wait till you see this. Awesome stock setup I got. But we'll get to that after this. And we'll see how Zach, the new guy, deals with the noise. He hasn't heard one of these shoot yet, so. Badger couldn't care less. Chicken don't care. Panther don't care. Foof. The other cat, she cares. She takes off every time. But Zach can't fit through the cat door, so he's going to have to suck it the fuck up. He's 175 pounds, and he's a pussy, but he's going to have to deal with it. Right, Zach? Say hi, Zach. Don't be a pussy. All right, bring down the trap. Oh, it's already down. Hey, look at me, I'm all ready to go. All right, now. All right, T8.1 mag, eight, eight gram jewels. Oh, I got, one of the comments I got on YouTube, they're like, hey, you, you're always forgetting your follower. Why don't you uh, buy one of those mag sleeves? I make mag sleeves, I have mag sleeves. But when you have a mag sleeve, you lose control of your follower. You can't drop it down and lock it. So that's what, and plus with that, I'm always testing different guns. I test T9.1s and T8.1s, and I don't want it to slide this thing off every five minutes. It's a pain in the ass. So that's why I forget to follow. All right. All right. See what we got? Hey, oh, buddy, you're downrange. First, he's got to learn. New guy. New guy, come on. Zach, move it. Come here. Over there. Sit down. Sit down. Now stay here where you're blocked and shielded. Back up, back up, back up. Sit, sit. He was my father's dog before he passed away, and he, uh, my dad's good at training dogs, so he's trained well, not like Badger. He's a lot smarter, too. So, all right, we're aired up and ready to fire. Zach, really? Man, come on, Zach, over here, come on. Back here. Sit down. Sit. Sit. 
I just said he listens, and he just walked right down range. Stay. All right, here we go. Four forty-eight. He didn't like that. That's it. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's not. It's okay, buddy. It ain't gonna hurt you. Sit. Sit. Sit, Sit down. down. Three ninety-six. Not great numbers. Uh, he's out of air. Oh, you know what? Running around doing stuff. I forgot to adjust the regular in this one. Oh, let me do that real quick and take care of Zach, and I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, the regular was only like halfway. Sorry about that. I got to I gotta come up with something. Uh, I'm going to make something to be able to adjust this with the tank on because it's a pain in the ass. To adjust it with the Allen key, unless you want to do quarter turn at a time, you got to take the tank off. And what a pain in the ass. Zach's not enjoying the gun noise. Zach, it's okay. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit down. Sit. All right, let's try it again. Stay. Five fifty six. There we go. Five sixty two. Wow, such a beautiful feel when the barrel's so tight. It's even quieter. Five twenty. It's okay, buddy. Come here. Come on. Come here, sit down, sit down, sit down. Ooh, 556. Oh, boy. Oh, that's loud. Sorry, Zach. The 556 was the last one. Take the on, mag out. You're okay, buddy, you're okay. Everyone's got to get used to it somehow. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to do a whole new setup. I'll explain it when I get back. All right, I am back. Look at this. All right, let's start with the beginning down here. We got a uh, cobalt, black, sear coated, first strike, mock suppressor, uh, first strike, 12 inch handguard, 16 inch SSD barrel with uh, steel detents, um, front Picatinny gonna have a laser on it I haven't decided which one yet uh, on the bottom skeletonized aluminum UTG foregrip very comfortable uh, monster uh, sight quick acquisition knob love these quick knots in there twisting trying to get it in you know nice quick focus love these all right now uh, Half inch riser by five inch SSD power block VKS full internals uh, power bolt and we've got the sniper stock adjustable cheek rest love the cheek rest big fan gets you right in where you want to be on that site and a little bit oh, so comfortable quick connect right here or quick connect clip right here we can turn from side to side uh, adjustable back rail in and out also on an angle this way i just happen to like them straight but you can drop them on an angle pull them in however you're comfortable gets cooler then your butt stock full rubber nice it's that huge kick that we get out of these Adjustable up down find that perfect sweet spot in your shoulder and look at this all right two by twelve gram charger CO2 take your first CO2 and these are nice because the cheapest easiest accessible so put your first one in face that way second one in face toward you and I can do all this without taking all this apart which is awesome little modification on my part obviously doesn't come like that but years ago I remember some of you older guys remember uh, I used to make one like this you know steel bars went over a, a 2x12 gram charger 
the silver old Umarex one, great one. I love that one, really high quality. Can't get them, you know, they're out, they've been out of stock for years. They're such a pain in the ass with those. But, you know, twist it, tighten it up. This is brand new, so take a little getting used to. This is a tight one. It's hard. I hurt my finger and I can't get a grip on stuff. One second. Just grab it. There's holes in the back of this, so you can stick like an Allen key or something through there. Smash my finger putting up that uh, thing before, so I can't get a good grip. All right, now did not charge. All right, well, I'm not happy about that. It didn't charge. I don't know why. Oh, that great lead up, and all of a sudden didn't charge. Well, that's not a good thing. All right, let me pull it off and see why it didn't charge. I have not used this yet. It's brand new. <sighs> ah, pain in the ass finger. So I need a little dexterity in my fingers when I hurt it, always. Did not pierce. Why did it not pierce? Uh. Hmm. I don't know why it didn't pierce. It should have. Uh, 2 by 12 gram charger, courtesy of MCS. What's going on, MCS? Uh. I like the idea that they put the holes in it so you can put an Allen key through it and twist it. I want to make something to make that work easier. I didn't even notice it until I went to do it. It's not piercing. That is upsetting. All right, let me go figure this out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, super upsetting. Ugh. So what I figured it was, uh, they were off on their thread counts and it wasn't getting the distance to pierce either or both of the CO2s. So I jumped on the mill real quick, the CNC machine, and I milled out a little, uh, little like kind of circle of uh, plastic, like kind of like a washer to bring up the distance a little bit and dropped it in between the two. This way it bring them both closer to their piercers. Put it all the way in, still nothing. So, took it apart, looked at it. Uh, let, let me grab one and show you the way one should look, the, the older ones. Now, these, these are one of the original designs. I don't know. The best ones are the, the Silver Umarex. They're freaking awesome. They're the ones I used to customize all the time into stocks. And they're supposed to have a, you know, little valve on the end, just like a tank. So when, it, when you put it on, it depresses, but you can have it filled without being on. These ones, much cheaper design. There is no valve here. This is wide open. Right on the other side of this is a piercer. And I'm guessing this thing is probably adjustable a little bit, and it's got to be threaded in. I'll take more of a look at it, but not happy with the design. You can see right through it. There's no valve. So you can't take this off once it's on. Not liking that at all. But uh, either way, even spreading it out, I got nothing. Could not get a pierce. There's not much more to these that I could be missing. Well, of course, um, it's a possibility of missing something. You know, that's, that's one thing. When you're running a problems on something, don't assume it's a defect. Always assume you're making a mistake. Because 99% of the time, you're wrong. A manufacturer's not. 
They put a lot of money and work into making these things right. So don't start out with, ah, this fucking piece of crap. These guys uh, gave me something. It doesn't work. No, you're wrong. Most of the time, I'm saying this for me too, 99% of the time, it's you doing something wrong. Backtrack, find out what it is. You know, do what you got to do. But don't automatically blame. Otherwise, it puts you on the wrong course. And then it makes problem troubleshooting a lot harder when you think it's someone else's fault and it's not. So, well. I don't see how they're adjustable. It's re real super basic, so it's not like I really could be missing anything. Just a little piercer, which I don't, I don't like that. And it's non-replaceable. It's like a half little diamond on there. Oh, well, it doesn't work, and that sucks, because stock is awesome. So, I guess I'm just going to have to modify my own something and make it work, which I will. I always do. So, I'll modify this one. I wish I had my, my good Umarex ones. They're the best ones with the best valves. These ones are all right, but sometimes you run into where they don't pierce. Both CO2s and only pierce one. So, hopefully... I don't know. I'll figure it out and get this to work. But I got to modify it to go inside this, uh, the buffer tube uh, chamber. And they're not meant to do that. So this one was meant to do that. That's the one thing it does do. It goes in the buffer jar, uh, buffer chamber perfectly. But the air part don't work. So, all right. Let's take a couple more shots. I guess I'll put uh, HPA back on. Very upsetting. Because it was, you know, the crowning achievement of the sniper. But look at this. This, this, their stocks are beautiful. This, this thing is so nice. Expensive, but, you know, fully adjustable everywhere. Love it. Super comfortable. And I'm a big cheek riser guy. And that's a good one, not a cheap one. It's got great adjustments on it. Everything. Oh, so comfortable. Great sniper. And I love that you can drop the pad down also and pivot it. No, oh, I'm just pissing myself off because I don't get to try it. All right. I'll call him tomorrow, see if he, uh, maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Hopefully that's the case. I don't think so, but I've been wrong before. It happens sometimes. All right, so uh, let me uh, throw some air in this tank. There wasn't a lot in it. I wasn't, I was expecting to do all CO2 shots, but we'll do that on the next one. Let me just charge this up and I'll come right back. All right, we're back. All right, got HPA on there now. Oh, and one thing I want to tell you guys. So I've been going through, you know, cleaning my uh, jewels, my uh, Grimberg jewels, eight gram. They've been getting, you know, pretty dirty with the trap, you know, getting all the fuzz and everything on them from the ballistic nylon and the Kevlar. So what I was trying to do is find a good way to clean them and good and quick and easy. So I tried the dishwasher. I put it in one of those like spaghetti strainers and put a small amount in there. Did a pretty decent job. They were all right. Didn't really get all the fuzz off. So I was thinking a way to put them in the washing machine where they're moving around, where they're going to actually kind of hit against each other and the hot water is going to work and work that nylon off. So you got to put them in something. So, hmm. Sell these bags, uh, I guess, laundry bags for like sweatshirt, stuff like that, whatever. But uh, laundry bag with holes in it. Throw you all your jewels in there. Tie it up real tight. Throw it in the wash machine. It works pretty good. Worked great for me. I was like, wow, that's awesome. And you got to do it on. Just throw them in a the bag. Throw them in there. Not to. I didn't use a. I, I threw a towel in there with it. You know, a towel, pair of jeans, stuff like that. Didn't go crazy with detergent. Just a little bit. Put it on hot. Cleaned them great. They came out nice. Well, unfortunately, I'm using all dirty ones now. Uh, all right. So let me load up. Eight gram jewels. I'd be using the clean ones. I, I gotta go. They're in the they're in the house in the laundry still. I forgot to bring them in. I don't feel like going again. No. We'll use the dirty ones. They'll work. Ah. Zach, come here. Go over there. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit down. Sit. Sit. He's getting used to it. All right. There it up. First shot. Go. Go with Badger. Go. Go in there. Go. 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 Stay. All right. First shot. 
98. Get back up. Back up. Get back. Go. Go. Go outside. There you go. 518. Four ninety four. Oh, dog. Sorry, buddy. You're good. Five ten. Oh, that's all. All right. So that is it for this one, guys. Still looks good. Still a great gun. Shoots good. Great power. That's all right, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. Big dog scared. Such a sissy. Bra Badger's braver than he is. But I'll get working on that stock because it's a great stock and it's a great option for the gun. I pretty much built the entire gun around that because I love that stock so much and and that I'm not working, so... No matter what I got to do, I'll get a 2x12. I got to use a different one and modify it to go inside the stock. I'll do that. I've done it before. So, all right, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, guys. I'm back. Forgot to mention something. Now, a lot of people ask. They want it to, uh, on my PKS mod, the back cap. They want me to go a little smaller, small as I could. So, I went back with one of my original designs. And that's now the smallest you can possibly get. Can't get any smaller than that. You can see that. There's a guy out there copying my design, this idiot in France. He's been copying my design for years. Anything that goes to the VKS mod, I come out with something three months later. You know, he saves up the paying machinist to copy whatever it is I got. He goes, no, I invented that. Guy's a liar. It's all proof on Facebook and when the posts come out. But he's selling them on eBay now. The caps, oh, mine are small. I'm like, they're the same exact thing as mine. He just stole my design as usual. And he's telling people, oh, Sterling's are, their machine terrible. And they don't look, uh, they're bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what they look like. His are garbage. Perfectly machined. He's saying they're not machined well. You can see them. They're absolutely flawless. Perfect. Anyone that machines anything will tell you. I'm not using like a cheap little hand mill, so it's not like they could come out bad anyway. Perfect. But anyway, for the guys that are, you know, really trying to, you know, carry and cover up in the winter time or whatever, and you want as small as possible. That's it. Can't get any smaller than that. You know, they still take a good amount of pressure on them, so you have to have a certain amount of material and also around where your bolts go in. Your socket screws, you need a certain amount of material. So that's as small as you can get. So quite a bit smaller. I'm fine with the other one, but it is what it is. But they're up now. You can get them by themselves. They're the new uh, BK, uh, power bolt kits with uh, bolt it's bigger than the VKS actually has more air volume not like any of the other guys copying me uh, they will be also you'll be available with the smaller one also all right that's it see you guys in the next one